All right, what's going on guys? It's Dan for STL Tones here, and today I'm bringing you the brand new December update for the Amp Hub plugin. You're getting a brand new amp this month, and what you're getting is the Origin Dual Black 50 amp, which is modeled off of the Orange Dual Dark 50 amp head. Very cool amp. I'm excited to get in and test out some tones. You know, it, it is orange, it's a British amp, so I'm expecting that British sound. So I'm gonna go for something a bit more post-rock today. Sparkly, clean tones, really powerful, saturated distortion. So that's why I'm running my Telecaster. This is the American Standard Telecaster Deluxe, and it's loaded up with bare knuckle pile drivers so it can handle a little bit more gain. I'm uh, going into my Audion ID14 interface, into Reaper, and running into Amp Hub. So let's jump in and check this thing out. All right, so here we are inside of Amp Hub. I've got the Origin Amp loaded up. Really clean looking GUI. I love the black color. I'll just quickly show you the cabinet section that I'm running. So this is pretty much my go-to. I've got the, the Eagle 4x12 with a Dynamic 57 blended at about 55% and then the Origin 4x12 cab with a ribbon 122 to fill in some of that bass. All right. Uh, I'm going to disengage the post effects and the pedals just so we can hear what the amp sounds like. And just quickly before I jump into it, just have a look at how many amps are in Amp Hub now. Like there are so many to choose from. When I first started using Amp Hub, there was a lot less, but uh, here we are now. So this amp has two channels only. It's the A and B channel. The A channel has a lot more options here in terms of EQ. And the B channel, as you'll see just over here, it only has volume, a shape knob, and the gain. Now this shape knob acts like uh, an EQ filter, whereas on the A channel, you get your standard treble, middle, bass, gain, volume. We do have an attenuator knob here, like the original, but honestly, we're not gonna need it. We don't need to turn the volume down in the amp. We can just turn it down with the output volume uh, and achieve the same results. So let's see how this thing sounds right out the gate. Very quiet because the default volume is set to two. So I'm gonna take that up to five. And I'm gonna raise the output gain just so we can hear what it sounds like. So not too special right now. It's just a bit crunchy. It's got some power to it, like I said. So the next thing would be is to, now the gain's already at five, so I'm gonna boost the volume up to eight. <laughs> It's got that rock sound. That's, that's what it makes me want to do. So let's try and improve on that because that's not what I'm here for. I'm here for a little bit of post rock. I want some big fatness. All right, so let's see what this channel A does if I put a pedal in front of it and drive the amp just a little bit harder. Here I've got the Horde Drive Accuracy, which is modeled off of the Horizon Devices Precision Drive. Um, pretty standard settings, drive all the way down, volume all the way up, bright not up full because the Telecaster is already very bright and attack on the first setting. <laughs> down a bit, boost the bass up. Yeah, it's giving me that vibe. I want to go something with a little bit of effect, some modulation, some delay and reverb. So I've got the siren chorus added, the orbital delay and the space verb. Now let's see how this goes. <laughs>
I would probably pull the gain down a little bit more for a lead tone. Very nice. All right. So before I get too crazy with effects and whatnot, let's check out channel B and see how this big boy sounds. I've got the gain at seven, the volume at five, and I'm just gonna leave the, the shape knob just directly in the middle. And I do have the Horizon Devices pedal still in front. <laughs> a little bit to the left let's see a little bit to the right yeah that's pretty huge Very huge. Let's engage the post effects. I'm going to take off the chorus. Lovely, that just soars. Let's put on the neck pickup and see there. I really want to see a bit more of what channel A can do. So let's switch back to channel A and I'm going to clean it up. So we're going to go through and see what the clean tones all the way through the crunch tones sound like. So if I go down to like two and a half gain. Now I don't want to drive this volume too hard because it will add some saturation. So I'm just really going to crank the output gain. It's a little bit quacky, a little bit woody. I think it might need a bit more gain. Let's go up to three. the treble. Let's engage some post effects. the output gain even more. All right, let's go up to four on the gain. Effects off. 
put a pedal in front of this at four, because that's normally what I would do. Middle pickup. Less treble. Some effects. Yeah, that's lovely. Okay, mids down. I'm gonna turn the bass down to. I want this a lot brighter. And I'm still gonna keep the gain down, 3.7. <laughs> Okay, so before I wrap it up, let's let's really try and mess this up and I want to go for a really crazy type of sound. I want to dial in something that's super ambient, really give me that shoegazy post-rock sound. So I'm going to add in a delay in front of the amp. So where am I going to, where is this? Orbital delay. Feedback, pretty high. Put on one quarter note. In the effects, I'm really just gonna max out the reverb. Now, when I do a delay preamp and post amp, I put them on different times. So I'm actually gonna put the post delay on a half, put the chorus on, mix right up. And I even might want extra reverb. All right, let's see. So I really think this Origin amp is super versatile. We can pull out quite a lot of tones all the way from clean to crunch to spanky to really beefy. And it's just got that power to it, man. It does the thing that it needs to do. All right, that's it from me today, guys. That was the Origin Dual Black 50 amp. If you're an Amp Hub subscriber, you'll automatically get this one for free in this month's update. And if you're not subscribed, you can purchase this amp model directly from the STL Tones website. Thanks for checking it out with me and we'll see you soon.